Hello guys. We have some news about Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon and this was too good to not make a video about. I'm not gonna go into deep detail about the news. I'm just gonna go through them as fast as I can. And before we go into this, hit that like button for Super Mystery Dungeon if you are hyped. But let's get into this. So a new a bunch of new screenshots has been revealed and I'm gonna show these later. But first I'm gonna say the news that the, that you know I'm gonna say some news about the gameplay. You can, there are, it is confirmed that there are something called connection orbs. It's a new feature. It says you can find legendary Pokemon through this when you have completed a task for Pokemon. It opens up for more tasks and more, more, and more, and so forth. But to go into further detail about it, it's a new feature introduced in, th in this game. A feature replaces the bulletin board and it's and it's used to find new missions with various Pokemon, but there's a difference this time. This time you have to create paths of Pokemon relationships in order to get more missions. When you select the Pokemon in the connection orb, they will take you to their story and quest assistance. If you complete the task, then you may be able to befriend the Pokemon. However, that's not all that comes for completing the task. When you have helped a Pokemon, it opens up more branches to help more Pokemon in mission. While not all missions require this, the more you complete, the more missions you have to do. And then it says, many Pokemon will give you a special mission through the connection orb, but there are some very special Pokemon that will also request help and can be friended through this. Some missions branches from the connection orb will give you access to a variety of legendary and mythical Pokemon. So it seems that there are new kind of jobs and yeah, that bulletin board, I personally I like it, but I'll have to wait and see if this is better or just as good. But now, there are some news actually Hoobas in the game and you can use the matching lamp to summon Hooba into a dungeon. It can either be form and call in various legendary po it can call various legendary Pokemon as assistance. How cool is that? That's fucking cool. So you're just like asking Hooba, hey, hey, give me some legendaries and it's like alright, alright, I'll do it. And then it is confirmed that you will be attending at a school. So it's Pretty new, actually. I find that very interesting. That's a, I love that. We have to, <laughs> we have to, we actually have to go to school, but there are some character dealers that has been revealed. Pancham and Shelmet, who are also, who also goes to the same school as you, are bullies at a local Pokemon school, and they're often picking on Gumi. Like, if you're picking on Gumi, I'm gonna mess you up. Just saying. And th then there's a Pokemon, and then dealing. Is there? She's the popular among the class, but it's very blunt. Esper is the intelligent student at the school, and Simipor is the principal of the school. Um, seems to understand children. It says that's pretty weird. But <laughs> Watchok is the vice principal. Ordino is the doctor, of course, who heals you and is often serious, but ends things in a joke. And Farfetch is the serious teacher, likely just. Like Farfetch will likely be similar to freaking Chatter and be super annoying. No hate. Okay, that's kind of hate. Well, now let's get into the screenshots. The first screenshot is of the um, Pokemon you ch you are and your partner buying stuff at Kegleon Market, and we of course know what that is. That's likely going to be there where you buy your things, you know, seeds, orbs, maybe TMs. I don't know if that's another place, apples, berries, and so forth. And then we have it, the connection orbs. So it looks very... Right now it looks very simple, you know, you have that mission, you have to help a Sylveon. But if we go further into this, you can see, uh, hey, we need to find some villain, of course. And then it says something about connected. So that is likely that connection orb that opens up a new path for you. So you can do a mission, whoever that Pokemon is, I can't quite see it. Looks like a... Uh, I'm not gonna do that, that's, that's gonna be embarrassing. But here, you can see that it's, it looks very complicated. Oh, it was a wallpaper one? Whatever. <laughs> but you can see it's very complicated. We have a freaking Salamence, who we might be... Who we can might be able to befriend. That's very cool, actually. So I'm, we're gonna have to see how that plays out. Now, the next screenshot is you battling a Suicune. Holy crap. I, uh, actually, I don't know if you're helping one or battling one. I can't really tell because... Neither, no one, no of the, no one of the Pokemon has like that little circle beneath, and so it looks very odd. But um, and next screenshot you have Raikou. It looks like you're battling it, all completing the mission actually. But I read a battle legendaries. 
but we'll go into that later. And here we have an, a powerful Darkrai. And if you don't know the story, and you don't want to know it, skip 15 seconds ahead, 20, 20 seconds ahead. Since the story is that legendary Pokemon are turning into stone, it might be the Darkrai who's doing it. Maybe Hooper, maybe Darkrai, we'll never know. But it could be Darkrai actually, because look at this. Look at that little evil motherfucker. He's so cool though. Next screenshot. Here we have Nuzleaf. Now I don't really know what that could be. It looks like the school, but I'm not too sure, so I'm not gonna go into much detail about that. And the next screenshot we have this. Now I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be a bag or something? It looks very odd to me. I think it's a treasure bag or where you store your items. So maybe Nuzleaf actually is the Pokemon where is the one storing your items, but Kangaskhan is back, I think, so I'm not too sure. And next screenshot, we have the all-powerful Hoover, and as I said before, you can, it can call in various legendary Pokemon as a citizen, so I, look at this screenshot, it looks like you have to ask it, and then you'll say yes or no, not too sure, but in the next picture, we have a few freaking Kyurum out of nowhere, just boom, here you have it, Kyurum, well, alright then. <laughs> next screenshot. Here we have Pantium and Selma, the bullies. And I think Piplop is a partner Pokemon. So talking to a partner Pokemon, and behind our partner Pokemon, we have Dealing and Gumi. And they just already just look like douchebags. Just saying. And here we have them with Dealing, the popular. Don't know what that could be. But um, in the day screenshot, we have them talking to us. And you know, the thing about the bullies are that they're very annoying, if you ask me. I like. I'm playing super, super. Um, I'm playing Mr. Dungeon Explorers of Sky right now, and I hate coughing so bad. And it's gone tank. They're so annoying. And in the next screenshot, we have Dealing being mad at them while laughing. Maybe they told uh, your mama joke, and Dealing's like, "Hell no, you ain't talking about my mama. I'ma kill you. I'ma kill you." And in the next screenshot, we have Farfetch, the serious teacher, with Esper, the intelligent student, talking. So there's probably gonna be a lot of text, of course, and then we have the principal, Simipro, who understood Trillium very well, and the vice principal, Watchdog. And then Simipro is probably gonna say something, uh, something, you know, something like, have fun at our school, in this screenshot, well, who knows. And the next screenshot I couldn't avoid fucking putting in, look at that fucking face. Look at Watchdog's face, I <laughs> what the fuck is that? Whatever, next screenshot, we have Ordino, the Pokemon Doctor. She'll probably just heal us up and say something, you know, but in the next, oh, oh that screenshot is so powerful, look at that Mega Requiser, like holy shit, that looks so powerful, and if we have to battle it, it's just game over, like it's a Mega Requiser, what did you expect to win? <laughs> I don't think so, and in the next screenshot we have a battle against the Oxys. Yeah, it just looks very cool. I like how you can tell the size difference kind of good now. The only thing that bothers me is Whalmer, as if you've seen the trailer, he actually like, looks pretty small. But um, here you can see the legendary Pokemon looks very big, and I I I really enjoy. I really like that feature. And next we have Primal Crown. Jesus Christ! So Mega Rayquaza, Primal Crown, and Lively Primal Kyogre are confirmed. That is fucking amazing. But in the next oh screenshot we have Hobo. Also a powerful legendary. They look very good actually. Very detailed. And the next screenshot we have to battle Hobo. Because this time I can see a red circle beneath him. And that looks fucking epic. I can't wait to battle legendary Pokemon. And in the next screenshot we have a recruiter Crownon. And then a recruiter Toho. And then we have to battle Prime Crown. And that's just okay. With a Pikachu. Well, <laughs> good luck, Jesus Christ. And a Piplup, of course, with the ability Desolate Land, he can't even attack it with water. He can't even attack around with water type attack. But yeah, that's it for the screenshots. This game looks very good, I'm definitely gonna get it, but yeah, this is just a video showing what's new about Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. If you like this video, leave a like below and subscribe for more than single content, and I'll see you all in the next video. Video, what the fuck? I can't speak. Bye, bye, bye.